In today's guide, we're going to go over the best Pokemon to use for the brand new 7 star Greninja event running now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So the Pokemon that we're going to go over in today's video are the best early builds for this event that are going to make it super easy for you to go in, beat the Greninja solo in game and start farming these super valuable high item drops that you get alongside it once you've caught the Greninja as you are only able to catch one Greninja per save file. So the two Pokemon that we are highlighting today is going to be Slowbro. It is a Pokemon that we're bringing back that we have a lot of familiarity with from the Cinderace raid then that we did recently and using pretty much the same strategy as we used in that den and the other pokemon if you would like to use something a little bit different is vaporeon we'll start with the vaporeon here it is gonna have the psychic terror type that is one thing that i would say definitely try and get the psychic terror type it takes advantage of one of the big moves that we'll be using on it obviously a water type as well and give it the leftovers item then we are going to go over to the move set. It is going to have a move set of fake tears, calm mind, acid armor, and stored power. And then an EV spread of 252 special attack and 252 defense. We know the Greninja is going to be predominantly hitting us with more threatening attacks from its physical side. So boosting that defense stat is going to make a lot more sense. And then obviously boosting the special attack, make sure that you are going to be hitting as hard as possible. Fake Tears is there as an option to reduce the special defense stat on the Greninja if it hasn't got a shield up. And then the other options are going to be Calm Mind to boost special attack, special defense by one stage every time you use it. And then Acid Armor as well, which boosts your defense stat by two stages. And then once you boost it up enough times with those two moves, you are going to start launching stored powers off into the Greninja. And then you're going to take advantage of your Psychic Terror type that you've got on the Vaporeon as well. To further boost that stored power to get as much damage out as possible you've got the ability water absorb there and you're gonna have a modest nature on this vaporeon now vaporeon is a really good option going in against the greninja i think it's a great option but it is not as powerful as the slow bro and this is what brings us back to the slow bro here the slow bro you don't need to worry about what its ability is there's nothing really on the greninja that you're going to worry about that would warrant any particular ability out of the three that it does have just pick whichever one you've got on your slow bro when you've caught it we've got obviously the psychic terror type because that is going to definitely help in this terror raid because it is one that is going to drag on a little bit longer than maybe some other ones but at the moment early game slow bro is still the best build to go into this one so just make sure you have that psychic terror type then for the move set i would advise going with the move slack off so we've got a form of recovery iron defense like we had in that seven star cinderace then uh, boosting your defense two times every time you use the move nasty plot boosting your special attack as well two times every time you use it and then again the same sort of strategy relying on stored power which does more damage based on the more boosts that you've got on your stats. So ideally the premise of this is going to be using three iron defense, three nasty plot and then launching off stored powers, using slack off whenever required if you need recovery. The EV spread on the slow bro is going to be max HP, max special attack. You've got a modest nature on the slow bro as well just to maximize damage. And again, I would actually attach the leftovers item to the slow bro, even though the Greninja has got Night Slash. And it is the one thing that you're going to have to watch out for because it does have a high critical hit rate and it will ignore any stat boosts, i.e. the defense boost that you've got if it does land a critical hit. So that is something you're going to have to keep in mind, whereas it might be better for you if you are having problems with that to rely on something like the Vaporeon that isn't weak to those dark type attacks going to take neutral damage from pretty much everything that Greninja throws out at you and um, if you would prefer then taking maybe that odd chance where you get a big critical hit and it ruins your day with the slow bro but otherwise slow bro going to be the more consistent out of everything that I've tested so far uh, going into these Greninja raids. So once you've got your Slowbro built exactly like this or your Vaporeon built exactly like this, you want to just find the Terror Raid, the seven star Terror Raid event den in your game. As you can see, we've got it right here and we can just go right in and then take the Greninja on. I can talk you through how to use this strategy. It is a lot like 
the strategy that we adopted in the seven star cinderace event so we'll be using the same kind of strategy here if you take the vaporeon into the raid event the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your acid armors then go for three car mines and then start firing off your stored powers obviously go for three acid armors boost your defense out to the max like we're going to do here with the slow bro and then terrestrialize when you can into your psychic type and then take advantage of that further boost with your psychic terror type now we're going to go into the battle greninja always going to go for a double team and then lay the toxic spikes down onto the field uh, the first thing that we're going to do is just set up an iron defense now there is an argument where you could potentially go for a sword power here and do that for the first two turns because greninja normally on the second turn uh, at the end of it, it is going to nullify all of our stack boosts, but it is pretty risky because it does put you in a bit of a precarious position where you can get taken out the next turn if the Greninja decides to go for a Night Slash. So you can see we've got two Iron Defenses up here and they will be nullified, but it will mean that the Greninja, if it does nullify our stat boosts here, that for the rest of the game, we should be pretty safe to set ourselves up completely. So we'll go for, we'll go for a Slack Off here just to recover some health because the Greninja might decide to nullify our stat boost but it's never really as consistent as i'm saying here it's normally two three turns in we should see it pretty soon and there we go so third third or fourth turn turn in now we're pretty safe to just go for these iron defenses again we had to waste a few turns there and you can see the timer has started to tick down a little bit but we're still in good shape see here we've got three nasty plots three iron defense we are ready to start launching off these stored powers we should be able to terrestrialize like i was saying stored power all going well and this should be the end of the raid event and uh, you can see the timer's just below half i would say and it hasn't taken too long for us to do this one as long as this does hit obviously you're gonna have to consider this is something that's gonna happen in these raid events if you haven't got clear smog or something like that but we do we connect and that is going to be enough to pick up the knockout on the greninja and it is as easy as that all going well there are just a few caveats where things can go wrong night slash can critical hit double team can be played more times than we've seen in this one and you can miss a lot more so there are a few things to consider but at the moment after everything i've tested slow bro is the most consistent thing to take into these raid events again bit funny that it was the best one for cinderace and now it's the best one for greninja but it does feel like it is the most solid option going forward in these raids at the moment if there's better options of course we will update you on the channel with better builds and alternative builds that you can use so i hope you found this video useful friends have fun farming the greninja raid dens this weekend especially if you are using the slow bro once again kind of happy that slow bro worked out to be a really good build because a lot of you will already have it from that cinderace event anyway but just copy the build that we've used here it is the most consistent one you've got the recovery with the leftovers and then you've got that slack off as well which is just going to give you a bit more security against the volatile kind of raid that this can be with double team nine slash crits and things like that but like I say, I hope you found it useful. If you have, drop a like. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.